Camera's rolling. So, this is what happened when you gave Alex Bell a talk about attack. How <laughs> <laughs> can go and get it? <laughs> Love you, Alex. <laughs> when he comes. <laughs> and now, our feature presentation. Alright. Alrighty guys, hold yourselves together. Going hot in five, four, three, two, one. Alright, welcome to this is gonna be a busy night. Two one three of S and R. Well I'm gonna say busy. It's gonna be busy. We're gonna You're gonna be busy like bees today. Yes. And we're gonna get Tolin a six segments done. Oh my gosh. And I'm hoping we've been enough. Well, let's just. Hopefully, we gotta get this done. Oh, that's gonna be us staying up late again. And I'm. Hopefully, I don't wanna be cranky in the morning. But, let's just. Hope all that one will be. All that done. Let's introduce the Skype guest. We got a total of seven Skype guests. One will be joining in in as a surprise in a little bit. Soon. You'll find out soon. Mm -mm. I got Arby Scott Productions, C3PO626, Rayano so Fox, Wubble one yep. NWB1989, Edicool Dark 7, Larry, Larry 4009 returns with Danny. Unfortunately, Michael Patton. Did you say, uh, Ben, did you forget me? I said really I know Fox. Alright, I'm just making sure. Unfortunately, Michael Patton. Don't got any. Michael's paradise went to bed early. So, he can't make it today. But, we have a very special guest joining us tonight. He hasn't been here in a long time, folks. Any guesses on who it could be? Hmm, can you give me a hint, please? Um, he's a Nintendo fan. Nintendo fan. What's his name start with? Just give me the first letter. Um, let's just say it's... His first username is also, uh, around the theme of Autumn. So? Uh, his name is, uh, the, named after the green things that fall off trees during the Autumn season. And he likes Millionaire as well. Millionaire? Hold on. Yeah. What are the green things that are on, like, uh, oak trees that fall off during the Please? winter? Wait a minute. Josh. You yep. said it. Josh, yeah, I have Apollo is here. Time. We're bringing Leaf in, people. Yeah. Ben, call him in, if you please, sir. I've been the host of the call. That's oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't realize until I looked on the time. I've been, I've been on the call nine hours ago. Oh my gosh. Jeez. I call him Josh, folks, so you can call him whatever you want. Oh, I still try to get leave. Leave. He says he'll be in within a moment. So let's get on sponsors while we wait for him. Well, we better yes. wait for him because he may want to do one. Uh-huh. So, okay. This show is brought to you by. So 90. Okay, it's 98.3 the key, the K92.1, Sunny 106.5, Cougar Banner, and I got a Mikey. The yes. Big Bug Country 1015, the Tri Horn State Area, and the Stars of NASCAR. And NASCAR don't have a race this week, but they'll be back on the Spring Cup the next week.
I'll say, I'll say mine. This show is brought to you by Sony in San Jose, California. Okay. Sony, the best video production cameras out there. All right. That's all we're going to say for now. And we got Leaf with us. Yay. Leaf Man 813 is back with us here on Saturday Night Reception. Welcome right back, there. Keith. There he is. There, Mike. There you are. Welcome Eugene. Good to see us. Uh, Eugene, if you can hear us, this is an old friend of ours that we've known for years. This is Josh or Leaf uh, Man. Um, it's, it's just yeah. Leaf. Thank you. Yeah, we can just call him Leaf for now. We call him Leaf. Oh, I'll get met him. Alright. Are you both at Eugene? I think I've met him before when we did Jeopardy Every Day back in 2014. Okay. Just in case we're going to do refreshers, this is Eugene Leaf. I know. I've, uh, I've gotten some requests from him before. Oh, yes. Artwork. Very big Johnny yeah. Carson fan and Joker. Okay. Eugene, your uh, sponsor. Oh, it's also brought to you by Cozy One, One Home to I Love... Not I Love the 80s Begin. I mean, Saturday Night Party. And it's also brought to you by Amazon.com to get your Koopas, Crab Brothers, whatever merchandises you want. It's also brought to you by 98.6 KOOPA. My music, my Koopa. I'll be. Sponsored by Poop Loops. Now with corn bits. And as well as Foster's Australian for Beer. And. Ow, damn it. And of course, Rounders Pizza. The best pizza anywhere in East Texas. Check your local locations in Athens, Texas, or Tyler, Texas. Grab a Rounders Pizza, except for tomorrow, since they'll be closed for Easter. Coley. It is brought to you by, by Weasel.net Radio. Online all the time, 24-7. Visit them online at Weasel.net, playing the best of the 80s, hard, soft, and light rock. Select your favorite song from the music queue, and it'll play it next in line. Also, brought to you by, by 181.fm. Playing the best of the 80s. Hard, light, soft, anything about the 80s, 90s, the aughts, and more, including big band country, swing music, Beatles, and much, much more. Visit them online, 181.fm. Select your favorite substation, click the appropriate stream link, and you're live with them. Alex. I just said my. No, your radio station. Oh, yeah, 107.7 The Bone, too. There we go. Nick. Okay, then. This is also brought to you by Molasses. The best delicious sweet syrup you can ever taste with whenever you bake or have something with it. With French toast, waffles, pancakes, even a bowl of ice cream to go along with the weekends. And it's also brought to you by Madison, Wisconsin's Magic 98. Home of Saturday at the 70s. Sunday morning smooth. Sunday at the 80s. And the Monday through Friday nights... Late Night Love with Delilah. Alright, Bubbo. It's also brought to you by the World Ranger World Championship. Let us dueling, dueling Champions World Open sign-ins begin on April 6th. That's in about uh, two days from this upload. And it's also brought to you by The Launchbox, a new podcast coming soon to a YouTube near you. And, and, just, and it's also brought to you by the SNR Word of the Week. Um, I didn't do an SNR Word of the Week last week because if you watched last week's episode, there was a death in our YouTube community, and we are highly, highly, really sad about that. So oh, it's going to take a little bit more time to get over, correct, Robo? Yeah. So your first SNR Word of the Week is... No, it, no, it's not but butt, butt cheeks. <laughs> butt cheeks. And, uh, and Alex can give the second Word of the Week. My second word of the week is mocking everybody on Skype. Mouth them while they're doing their sponsors. <laughs> Mind like if I the... say a word of the week as well? Yes. Alex, go ahead. I cut you off there. Since you cut me off, you are disapproved. Next. I know you're fun. And anyway, Next. this word of the week by me is... Hang on, I gotta pull up my emote here. It, as an emote I always use, it's business before pleasure. 
And while we got on this... And those were your SNR Word of the Week. And one SNR Words word of the Week. Sorry. One word. One word. This is my Word of the Week. My Word of the Week is... Bull... Bullshit. He said it. And we have to know... Yeah, and we have a head of leaf in the last leaf. Well, we got yes. for your radio sponsor. SNR, SNR is officially sponsored by Classic Rock 102.9 and GK, the official home of Philadelphia's Classic Rock. And also by the Bowtie and Fez Important, because I do decree. Fezes are cool, and Bowties are cool. I have a Bowtie, and it's amazing. Bye. And teacher had to spot that too. Her sponsor was Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So anyway, uh, last two weeks we had classic concentration. But unfortunately, we got beaten by a computer player who is too damn good for us. Quick question What segment is for feud? At the cost. That's the third one in, correct? Yeah. Yes. Alright, PM me on here when it's time. Alright. We'll do this. Last week we did a tribute episode to the segment 18. We're still trying to make it better. But well, we're still. We're still trying to recuperate after that. I'm trying to think of the weather. I can't even think. This week, we got a new game for Game 1, and it happens to be one of our favorite for the NES. And uh, there's a little question that we'd like to ask the audience first before we go on ahead. This might give away what our game is. Our game is... Uh, Holly was Chris, baby. Woo! Hey, bitch, I'm gonna turn down. What we got? One. Alright, round one, here we go. Simple rules of Holly was Chris. In order to get to the stars. A cause of a download diagonally, which way you want to go. Can we deal? Let's start out with this. A recent Lewis Harris survey found that teachers think a crucial good education crucial to the good education of our youth. What? Schools. Well, not that crucial. A strong family. I agree. It has to be. Strong family is a strong family. You know, I'm not sure tomorrow that came on for this. And, and Ben's got a haircut a while ago. Wow, though. And he's using his TV for the laptop, too. No, that's the Dell PC. It looks so huge, though. I know, it looks like a TV, huh? Yeah, folks, if you thought that was a TV, No, my TV is that, that one. You're depressed. Statistically, you are likely to be men or women. I don't know. That's why I'm depressed. <laughs> A man. Women. According to Greek mythology, Zeus gave it to her, 
who has actually opened Pandora's box. The <laughs> the IRS. The IRS. There you go. Her son. I disagree. Her husband. Ethamas. Made for the win. Uh, made for the block. Actually, I'm sorry. I got my sunglasses on. Is the difference between a rabbit and a hare? Yes, very few men lose their rabbit. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment on that one. Yes, rabbits are smaller than hares and have shorter ears. They do. Eddie for the block. Uh, I was thinking if men lose more of their rabbits, I was calmly thinking about. Uh, is that an Elmer Fudd joke? Or was that a pun? But evidently it was a joke, and I didn't quite get that joke. In the United States, we say Merry Christmas. In Spain, in Mexico, they say, Feliz Navidad. In what other countries do they say, Feliz Lunch, Sweet Rot? Feliz Navidad, Merry Christmas, in Spanish. And any other twelve eggnogs. Poland. Yep. I yeah, I agree. It has to be Poland. I'm Corey. Yep. True or false. Join your pantyhose in the freezer will pull along their life. Place hell with their vehicles veins though. False. It was true. Oh, man. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> true or false? The average American nun is over 60 years old. False. They just look like they're over 60. Where'd Corey go? Oh, no. He said we'd ding him when he gets back. When we get to Family Feud. I guess I'll be cool. False. I agree. Oh, hell, oh shoot. It's true! Which two houses form the British Parliament? The two end ones on in Downing Street. The House of Commons and the House of Lords. You fool! You failed. Miserably! According, according to the National Ski Areas Association, only 2.5 of every thousand skiers are what? Illegal aliens, beginners. I disagree. Enter our skiing. Well, to Secret Square, one of these stars has the Secret Square. Find it, and the Secret Square can be yours. Secret Square. Is there a difference between a real estate broker and a real estate agent? No, they both have nicer homes than I do. Yes. It was. Hey, and Jay, find the 69 worth of 10 seconds starting now. In the Bible. What famous okay, thing was made it? out of gopher wood? Uh, right next to the... Uh, right, <laughs> it, right, uh, right in between the two fours. You got okay. it. Saint Pinocchio! The cross. I agree. Noah's Ark. True or false? It's still a new hotel in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where you can get nose jobs, tummy chucks, and faceless, and charge it to your room. And when the bellhop offers to carry your bags, he doesn't mean luggage. Oh my god! What? What I miss? Very good. It's your hand. It's the hand part. When he said, and when the bellhop offers to carry your bags, what does your bags mean? Your bag means you're carrying stuff. No, stuff not that bags. What did you say, axe or? 
No. Depends on what you're talking about. What you talking about, Willis? Boobs. Oh, <laughs> I thought about that. I was thinking of something else. But that's okay. <laughs> Welcome to a very dirty night of Pass It Off. I got a very dirty mind. False. Mary agrees it, and it was true, actually. Made for the win. According to Self Magazine, what is the most stressful month of the year? Oh, that's easy. That's December. Because it's, it's the holidays. That's gotta be it. No, I thought it was April. Whichever the one lasts longer than your paycheck. December. Oh, it's June. June. Oh, that's right. Summer vacation. Yeah. The kids are home from school. Summer vacation. Oh, the word summer vacay. Val for the wind. How long will Two weeks. I think. Yeah, because I, uh, I looked at my old school as a schedule. Most schools have give you a two weeks vacation and then you go to summer school. Yeah. Pretty much. If someone asked you if you were in the mood for a little snooker and you consider what would you end up playing? Hard to get. Ping pong. Pool, and she got it. Dean has a secret square. Start with this. According to the Center for Health Statistics, what's the minimum number of hours sleep you should get for good health? Oh, well. Uh, you get before they wake you up. Until your hangover feels better. Just four solid hours. At least seven hours of sleep. Wow. Again, according to Self Magazine, once a baby starts walking, you should put off buying suits until when? They are on sale. They need for outside protection. And that's what it needs. What round no thing comes to mind when you hear the phrase plop plop fizz fizz? Leaky Foster, Alka Souser, for the block. Eddie. According to Red Book, there are several sig signals that could warn you of a marriage in trouble. The first when you no longer to do what together. I'm not going with that one. Live together. Eat together. Laugh together. Uh, shit together. <laughs> Beth. Which, which marital, which, in which marital problems started first when you're not laughing together? Oh. Okay. That's true, actually. According to the New England Journal of Medicine, Ballerinas often suffer from weak bones because of too much exercise and too much what? Butterfinger partners. Dieting. I agree. Game two! Key number one, two, three, four, or five. Let's go with key four. Four. Four, car. One, two, three, four, or five. Three. Five. Which one's the best one? Four. Then? Okay, they're going with car three. Key yeah. four, car three. Here we go. Do Robo and I have the magic touch? Ah! Oh, too bad. Oh. 
Oh well. Fifteen hundred dollars. We start our first run. Well, that's it for Hollywood Chris. Tune in next week for Game 2 as we are continuing on to win ourselves a car. Allow me to get the game set up. Well, while we do this, we'll be right back. We got a fun, another fun filled game. Let's just gonna be with fun and laughter when we come back. Welcome back to S and R. I heard a, I heard a shit. <laughs> my man is wearing Mikey's butt. Good answer. And the man Alex Paras is talking for Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to play cars against the reality. And yeah, we got. We got a couple tasted today, so that's yep. not. Disclaimer. This uh, disclaimer. This game contains lots of dirty stuff. Your discretion is advised. But no one really cares. Yeah, thank you, Lee. And you want to know something else, guys? What? What's that? This is my first time playing Cards Against Humanity. Oh, oh wow! I'm pretty sure I will. First time on Cards Against Humanity. Third. Say the third. Second or third appearance of Fast and R. Yeah, after like ages. <laughs> yeah. Also, this is not for people who have, who have no sense of humor, no life, or just a bunch of arrogant, uptight snobs who can't take a fucking joke. If you don't like it, go fuck yourself. And, um, we still got Alex Pawas. Go on. As you can see, all you can see is his chair. Because you. you'll truly just got him in the Taco Bell attack. <laughs> yeah, in the meantime, while Alex's chair is still there and he's going to Taco Bell to get some food, <laughs> I'll go ahead and get started with this. <laughs> he's gonna get me back for that one. Alright, ready to start? Yay, we're going up to five too, so. Yep, five points is where I've got. Alright, here Zutai. we go. Zutai, here we go. Oh wow. <laughs> and the cars are wild the gate. Blink tried to defeat the Thundercast, but failed. Miserably. I think I might get this one right off the bat. I don't know. Come in. Here we go. <laughs> Tim Zuna tried to defeat the Thundercats, but failed miserably. Bitch Romy tried to defeat Thundercats, but failed miserably. McDonald's French fries tried to defeat the Thundercats, but failed miserably. And they can't throw them over the way. Yeah. Try to defeat the Thundercats but fail miserably. And JR tried to defeat the Thundercats but failed miserably. You bastards. Living books. Yes. I knew it was Jay. Who, who, who has JR car, by the way? Who played the Me. You're fine. Okay, Blank is now cancelled. <laughs> Stay tuned for Blank in the Real Housewives of Blank. That's it. Die, TV executives. Die! Oh, wow. Uh, 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 I got Oh, 
You got a blank card? No, I am. Uh, I can't. Huh. Trying to select your cards? Yeah. So. I have to pick three? Yes. You just, uh, with each, with, you have to choose each one, so like, Click a card, confirm selection. Click another one, confirm selection. Click another one, confirm selection. And of course, with the blind cards, you can come up with anything as dirty <laughs> as you want. Yep. I think I've already gone dirty. Can't do that. Got it. Okay. Bye, Jay. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, Foster's is now cancelled. Stay tuned for TGIF on ABC and the Real and the Real Housewives of the Minnesota Fat Ass. Robitussin is now cancelled. Stay tuned for Mikey's erect penis. And the Real Housewives of Mikey's <laughs> Twilight Zone is now cancelled. Stay tuned for Weight Watchers and the Real Housewives of Jurassic Park. <laughs> Disney is now cancelled. Stay tuned for Sonic Sat AM and the Real Housewives of Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> this is now cancelled. Stay tuned for Mumphrey drinking Dr. Pepper and making Gary run away in the Real Housewives of a Giant Horse Cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey's erect penis and Mikey's butt. That just works so well. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god! Careful, Ben. I'm gonna get my revenge on you when I have a blank card. I did not pay I did not put your name on the Eugene. I had a go with Mikey. Oh. oh my god. I I had a worse dirty mind. This is already gone to down south from here tonight, folks. Yeah, basically <laughs> it just took the craps. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm feeling much better. Yay. I think I've got the perfect card for this one. Mikey likes to wear a flow from progressive adult diapers. Mikey likes to wear doctor diaper adult diapers. <laughs> Mikey likes to wear Rigby a Rigby's adult diapers. Mikey likes to wear curses. Boiled again adult diapers. Mikey likes to wear a Herbert Hoover vacuums adult diapers. <laughs> Who the fuck is Dr. Diaper? <laughs> yes! Yes! Diaper. Dr. Diaper. They put the vicious dog in front of the lighthouse and scare it. It's not to keep blind cards. Thank you. Well, what is your answer? Thanks, Eugene. Anytime. Dr. Diaper. There you go. Who the fuck is Dr. Diaper? I remember that. We was laughing and Nick came back and said, What do I miss? <laughs> and Nick saw a laugh. <laughs> Jeff Hart from Pencils. Did you sweat? Refresh. Yeah, Refresh. Yeah, the server t likes to take craps. Boy so wants to take a boy wants to take a dump in Bieber's mouth. <laughs> yeah, just ref uh, just refresh the website, Lee. Oh, Lee, that might help. Server error. <laughs> Yeah.
Mayonnaise. Come in. What? I can't get back in. Refresh. Refresh. Oh, thank God. Uh, there we go. I'm in. There we go. I'm so sorry, guys. That's You're okay. It, it will do that to all of us. So you're not the only one who's, who had that problem. It's also... Yeah. All of us who had, had it too, so... Mm -hmm. To all of us. Dr. Diaper. Alright, so. Okay, I can't help with that. My dying mask. Let's see, they put a vicious dog in front of the White House. It's there to keep Romney's sex out. Netscape. A picture of Pac Man. Weep! Pac Man. I mean, Miss Pac Man. Weep! Pac Man. Grim Reaper, chicken biscuits in my butt. Huh? <laughs> there keep chicken biscuits in my butt. Ow. Ow. Ah. Nest gave us. Hmm. That was uh, Eugene's. Yep. Yeah. Can we get a booyah? I choose you. Booyah! There we oh. go. Oh, wow. I think I just oh, came oh, with the good one. Hang on, let me get the czar though. Yeah, I'm gonna get the czar. I didn't, wait, I didn't, I didn't select. Yeah. No, you're the czar. You're the czar. That's George and Doreen. Oh. Okay. Yellow though. I choose you. Yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi. I choose you. Control of the story. I choose you. <laughs> Babies are us, uh, no, sorry, babies are us, diaper section. I choose you. Pieces, pieces, I choose you. Now you get to choose between those five. Among the five, to be exact. Hmm, these are all good decisions. <laughs> but when all goes crazy, control all destroy. I choose you. Ah. Uh, and then. Dang. Dang it. So you click the card and press confirm selection. There you go. Booyah! We know who won that one. Okay. 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 The gatekeeper from Nightmare again got you, Temple Guard, here, bastard! <laughs> the gatekeeper from Nightmare from one... The, the gatekeeper from Nightmare one again got you, Chief K double O P. I do bastard! The gatekeeper well, wanted you again, drop back! Again? Got you, Beauty and the Beast, you bastard! Ah, uh, he's back! Nightmare one again. Curse you, bench, but then you. Who put it out there? I'm gonna get you back for that. Hello. Nightmare one again. Curse your bitch, fuck, 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 Okay. I get Jay. Uh, I get Jay. I oh. gave Alex to talk about. <laughs> I, uh, and whoever made this type of freeze is a genius. McDonald's, Bob. I'm liking it. He's done this part so many times. It's funny. Here we got last week when we saw it on camera. McDonald's, Bob. I'm hashtagging it. McDonald's, Bob. I'm chocolate in it. McDonald's, Bob. I'm. In it. <laughs> McDonald's, Bob. Right, I'm wave racing it. I can't go back to McDonald's. Yes, McDonald's, Bob. I'm chocolate in it. McDonald's, Bob. I'm a dupe in it. A dupe in it? You're puking it. A dupe. A dupe. Oh, I thought you were 
We found those oh, bad luck that time. Nobody has seen me eating my burrito. I'm a dude banana. Kind of is, it? is, it is it one of them sriracha burritos? No, it's an all beef burrito. They got rid of sriracha. They got rid of the sriracha got... case burrito. Yeah, they did. Oh, yeah. I miss it. You. Oh, <laughs> yeah! I do banana. And shorts right. lost tonight. My third. Ah, crap. My throat was irritated. My throat was irritated because I was screaming blank. Oh, this should be good. I love, I love the Starburst Strawberry Freeze. It totally tastes like a Starburst. That guy, whoever made it, is a genius. I want to high five that guy. All this shit is a red Starburst, a red Starburst Freeze, and there you go. You mean cherry? Oh, to, to make it a cherry one? Ooh, that would be good. Mm -hmm. And who paid $10,000 uh, for a Mario Kart 8 game? Oh. My throat is irritated because I was screaming my Yoshi. Yeah. My throat is irritated because I was screaming, I'm the card czar! <laughs> my card my throat is irritated because I was screaming, find the computer room. Is my webcam my throat is irritated because I was screaming, dial up. My throat was irritated because I was screaming, you fool! You fool. Yes. Of course it was dang Oops. it. Well, take a look at that, Eugene. You need to work harder to win. Where you made your gun truck back. I went right to my penis, man. Oh my god. This is like an old time match game favorite. Whoever's the cause of Nick. It's Nick. I am. Oh, oh, oh. This is a good one. It's an all-time match game favorite. Favorite alone. I love this game now. Kind of feel Miss Penguin just said I think about about this movie. Kind of just is a similar to how I'm moving so I'm blanking through it. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I'm not going to four year old fish to bury wiggles that I think Bob Barker's moving to the spirit of every dog. Just yesterday, some workers here to help me move the blank. 104-year-old Mr. Periwinkle said, I think Bob Barker's moving to this here retirement home. Just yesterday, some workers here at the... At the hall were moving some up. Fox News into a... Vacant room. Vacant room. They're moving some Cracker Jacks into a bacon room. They're moving some Cory and Mikey going through the tunnel of love <laughs> in the <laughs> room. They're moving okay. some the selfie into a bacon room. They're moving some oh screw you margaritas into a bacon room. <laughs> okay, who's making jokes about me? I'm a number one game show. Yes. Biscuits. Oh, it's very good. I thought that Koei and Mikey went into a ton of love. That one was actually true. Excuse me, Mr. Spencer. Do you have any reason why you're making a joke about me? Uh, no. But saying about that Koei and Mikey thing went into a ton of love. That one was true. And it actually did happen when Mikey was first locked on onto Second Life for the first time. He and Koei went into the ton of love. <laughs> Oh, oh my I god! About that. What's wrong with my retirement? I'm happy with my Chris. retirement, you know. Well, we'll be right back after these words. Anyways, which which card are you gonna choose, Ben? That's not me. There you go. Oh, there we go. I know that. Now Robo chooses. Why can't I sleep this? Sleeping during a Saturday morning. Carter getting laid. Exodia. A broken gateway. Or Ed and Nettie. Why can't I sleep this? Oh, yeah! He won. And we got a winner. Ed, Ed and Eddie.
And that's it. Yep, that's it. That was quick. Eugene wins, good game. Yay! Yep. Oh, I love chickens, Eddie! Oh, chicken, baby! Bullet toes! Bullet toes, Eddie! Oh, my. Oh, my. Ed the doofus. <laughs> we got Ed the doofus, double D the spot, and double D Y is the brains. We got Ed, the other, Eddie's the smart ass. Yeah, I know. Ace is smart ass, double D is the brainy ass. And Ed is the doofus. Well, there you go. Ass toss. Just like Mr. Potato Head, he's a smart ass too. Well, there you go, folks. That is Cost Against Humanity. Come up next. We're gonna shift gears a little bit. Family Feud. Right after this. Don't forget the other. And the, and the Spindry family. This guy and that guy. On your mark. Let's start the family feud. And please give it up for Steve Harvey. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. And I welcome you to the family feud. I'm your host, Steve Harvey, and we're looking to have a good time here tonight, and probably not something you went to show here tonight. You guys are ready? Let's go ahead and meet the Spinning family. Rubble, how are you? Yeah, pretty good. Rubble? Razor, fa razor family, excuse me. <laughs> wow, that's a lot to read about the Rubble. <laughs> yeah, Who'd you bring with you here today? Uh, I brought my best, one of my best buddies, Eugene. Hey. Yeah, well, there, sir. And what did you bring with you there, Eugene? I also brought one of my other best friends, Mr. NWB1989. Mr. Bishop, welcome to the show. Hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you, I will. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and head on over to the other side here and welcome the Spindon family. Hello. Doing good. So who'd you bring with you here today? Well, I brought Jeff with me. Welcome, sir. Oh, no, no, just no, tell me you that you're a pretty good music here. player. The producer is telling me you're a good music career. Yeah. Mm. So is that what you do in your spare time? You uh, uh, write your own custom music, young man? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, still. Call producers me. are saying that you're a good music creator, so Call I gotta me. go with what they say. They pay my contract anyway. You're good at playing it. You're good at playing it, but I don't know about creating it. Koi. Yeah. Chat box. Yes. Alrighty. Hey, I'll train number Good one, Corey. Whoever gets the $300, $300 first wins and has a chance to go on to Vast Money for the $20,000. We're going to start this off with... <clears throat> uh, since we don't have Chap using TeamViewer here, um, Ben's going to facilitate buzzing in for Chap uh, right now. Alright. So it's going to be on the first face-off, Robo. This is Chap. Here we go. Let's play this for you. And then once... Oh. Well, hopefully that as fast as I want to all in Chap will go for the answer. Go ahead and unlock Robo and Mr. Spindon. Now ready. Chap Robo. Okay. Uh, what keys, Koi? Uh... For the right side, it's the slash question mark key, and for the left side, the Z key. Uh, Robo, the Z key on your keyboard. What the slash? Uh, Robo, press the Z key, please. I thank you. And the slash question mark key, then. It, 
Hey, Steve, you need Lily Anderson to come on here? There we go. Hey, there you go. Oh, all right. It's not showing up all of a sudden. That's just weird. And yes, Mr. Mills Lane, I'll need a secondary judge just in case one of our regular judges decides I'm to be Louis a third. Anderson. I'm Louie Anderson. Good answer. Either way, Lily. We'll need as All many right. judges as we can just in case a Howard Belcher decides to be a joint. Alright, Mr. Harvey, uh, what, uh, a 20 feud! Alrighty, gentlemen, good luck. One of the people serve the top five answers on the board to this question. Name a job that a man may have that makes him a sex symbol even in old age. Chap. Ben. Uh, now, Chap, go ahead and give me an answer to that. Actor. Show me. Actor. Yeah! Number one answer. Do you want to play this one, Chap, or do you want to pass it? Go ahead, go Want to play? Then we're going to play. Steve. Here we go. It's Alrighty. Steve. Since Ben, uh, uh, now it's on to Ben this time. Ben. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Paras. We're, we're gonna play, Steve! There we go. Let's go ahead and get on with this here. Mr. Spendin, welcome to the show. We wish you good Thank luck. Thank you, yeah. Name a job that a man may have that makes him a sex symbol even into old age. I would say a doctor. Alrighty, that's a good answer. Show me a doctor. Strike one. Was anyone able to hear the sounds? Yeah. 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 Yes. Alrighty, chap, we're on to you again. Name a job that a man may have that makes him a sex symbol even into old age. Athlete. Alrighty. Show me an athlete. Damn. Let's strike two. Wow. Ben, we're back to you. Final shot at it. Name a job that a man may have makes him a sex symbol, even until old age. A fireman. Alrighty, if it's there, you're alive. If not, it's your third strike. And the Rager family will have a chance to steal. Show me... Firefighter. There it is. Well done. Chap, we're back on to you. Name a job that a man may have that makes him a sex symbol even into old age. Thank you. Let me yeah. go ahead and fix that right quick. There we go. How about a musician? Alrighty. If a musician is there, you're still alive. If not, it's your third strike. Show me musician. Nope, that's your third strike. Alrighty, I'm gonna head over here to the Ranger family, and I'm gonna go down the line here. One answer from you each. Alrighty, Eugene. Name a job that a man may have that makes him a sex symbol even into old age. How about a model? Alrighty, next up is Nick. Okay. Alrighty then. I'm gonna go with Eugene's answer. Saying model already. Robo. Both of your partners model. are saying model. You can choose to go with them, or you can go out on your own. Name a job that a man may have that makes him a sex symbol even into old age. A model. Alrighty, if model's there, you've stolen the bank. If not, first blood goes over to the Spindon family. Show me a model. There it oh, is. Yeah. Bingo! Well done. All Two right. answers yeah, left up three that we did not know. Number five. President. Finally, number three. Dancer. Dancer. Yo, Steve, uh, are you losing your cool? I'm afraid not. Here, this is so you can sound like Steve Harvey for real. Here you go, here's the drink. Mm. 
And I thank you that kind of thing. Alright, let's go. play the feud. No, right. 53 to nothing. Let's play the feud. Here we go. We've got Nick and Ben coming up next to you. Let me go ahead and unlock you both. We've got Ben. And I don't see Nick here on uh, TeamViewer. But, um, hey, Ben, you want to pass the team hey, you guys? see me. Mm -hmm. uh, where, uh, what account are you on the, the TeamViewer meeting, uh, Nick? Angry Grandpa Fan 1989. Okay, thank you. There we go. Mm. Little boy. Little boy. Shut up! I'm trying to play. <laughs> You're trying All to right. play. All right, we've got Ben and Nick up here. Good luck to you both, gentlemen. One of the people serving top six inches on the board to this question. Name a country known for its sexy men. That is Ben. Japan. Show me hmm. Japan. Oh, no. that was a good Nick. one. Name a country known for its sexy men. Um, Great Britain. Show me Great Britain. No. Alrighty, we're going to go to chat. Name a country known for its sexy men. France. Show me la la. France. There we go, only one answer better than that. Eugene. Name a country known for its sexy men. Mamma mia, how about the Italia? Ah, Show me Italy. There yep. it is. Yeah, Eugene! Alrighty, Eugene. You got it for your team there, but... I have to defer to Nick on this. Nick, do you want your team to play this one, or do you want it to pass? I think we'll try to play. You're going to try and play it, all right? Then head back over and talk with your partner. All righty. We're on to Robo. Robo, name a country known for its sexy men. Uh, Germany. Show me Germany. Unfortunately, no. That's your first strike. We're back to you, Nick. Name a country known for its sexy men. Um, Brazil. Alrighty. Show me Brazil. No. Strike two. Eugene, try and save your family. Name a country known for its sexy men. Oh, Courtney, what about Australia, Mike? Ah, oh, that was mine. If that's up, then your team stays alive. If not, third strike, show me Australia. There it is. Oh. Well done. We're back to you, Robo, again. Name a country known for its sexy men. Oh, crap, I'm going to need help. Uh... Five seconds. Spade, 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 spade. All right. You got it in time. I heard him say Spain. Wait a minute. Right, what do you know Steve Harvey? He passed out. Someone gave him a Mickey of, Mickey of liquor. So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. please welcome the real host, Corey Lawrence. All righty. All righty, Robo. Name a country... I said, name a country known for sexy men. If Spain is there, you stay alive with your team on this question. If not, Chap and Robo, uh, Chap and Ben, fail train to <laughs> watch Robo. to steal. Mm -mm. Show me Spain. There it is. Fail train number two. Alrighty. Nick, we're back up to you. Two answers left on the board. Name a country known for its sexy men. Let's go with China! Alrighty, if China is there, you're still alive. If not, it's your third strike. Show me China. Nope. Third strike. Alrighty, I'm gonna go over here to the Spendin family. Ben. United. United 
United a country known for sexy men. United States. No, already, chap. Your partner says United States. You can choose to go with that or go out on your own with an answer of your own. Name a country known for sexy cool. men. I am torn between that one and Mexico. Alrighty, which one are you thinking more of? But I'll take Ben's word for it and go with USA. Alrighty, if the United States is there, you get the points. If not, they go over to the Rager family. Show me United States. There yeah. Alrighty, one answer that we did not know that was up there. Canada. Number six. Oh. Asian. I would like some meatballs, but they're not from IKEA. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think I just had a. I thought I just had a beep on Facebook happen unless someone commented on something here. One moment, hey, gentlemen, here. Yeah, a second. True, folks. Do you want uh, Richard Carn to be the next host for the next round? I'm good. It was a, okay. it was a post off an old photo I did, so everything's mm -hmm. good. Alrighty, gentlemen. Let me go ahead and unpause that. That would help. There we are. Well, there right. books. Here are the scores. It is 62 to 53. I need Eugene and Ben to buzz in for Chap again. Here we go. That's Korean Bowling and Ben. Here we go. No, already. 100 people surveyed top. Three answers on the board to this question. <clears throat> At the dinner table, what food do kids most like to play with? Ben, for chap. Go ahead, chap. Mmm. Mashed potatoes. Show me. Mashed potatoes. It's there. Number three, two answers better than that. Eugene, at the dinner table, what food do kids most like to play with? Uh, peas. Show me peas. There it is. Vegetables. Well done. Head on back with the team. Oh, wait. Excuse me. Eugene, do you want to play or pass? Play. Alrighty. Alrighty. Robo. One inch are left up there. You can get this for your team right now in a clean sweep. You know, I'm not going to What food do kids most like to play with? Chicken. Show me. Koi. Yes. Before you're going to show it, if 48 people want to say vegetable, we would have had 69. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> you kind of look at it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. What's costing, <laughs> say? Never mind. Okay, see, chicken. Chicken is there. You swept the board. If not, only your first strike. Show me chicken. Nope. Strike one. We're over to Nick now. Nick, at the dinner table, what food do kids most like to play with? Spaghetti! If it's there, you just swept the board on this one. If not, it's only your second strike. Show me the spaghetti. There it is! Yeah, yeah. he's sick! <laughs> hey, the goats! It's 151, 262. I need Nick and Ben. Here we go. I thought you meant Robo and Ben. I, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, that is Robo and Ben. Excuse me. Yeah, and... Fail train number three, Coley. Alrighty, there we go. Ben and Robo. There we are. Yeah, one three, three. Six inches on the board to this one. There we go. That's a little bit better. I 
Oh, wait. Nope, that looks bad. There we go. Wow. Alright, here we go. Give me a word that rhymes with candy. Ben. Dandy. Phonetically spell it as well, just to make sure. D A N D. Oh, shit. Forward looks weird. There we go. D A N D Y. What? D A N D Y. You said dandy? Yeah. Yes. You show me dandy. There it is. All right. One answer better than that. Robo, uh, give me a word that rhymes with candy. Sandy. Spell it. S A N D Y. Tell me, Sandy. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Robo. Do you want to play this or pass? We're gonna play. Play. Alrighty, they're gonna play. Hold on a minute here. I heard another okay. beep on my face. I just want to make sure that this isn't. Nope. Same post, never mind. Alrighty, there we go, gentlemen. Alrighty, next up to this is Nick. Nick, give me a word that rhymes with the word candy. That would be so handy when I say this. Alrighty, going with handy. Show me handy. There it is. Go, Nick. Go, Nick. Go, Nick. Angie, back to you. Give me a word that rhymes with candy. Oh. Hey, I'd like a bottle of brandy with that melody. Going for the drunk. Show me brandy. Pinko. There it is. Eugene! Good God, is it that same one again? Yep, never mind. Alrighty. Rubbo, back to you. Give me a word that rhymes with candy. Five seconds. No answer. Alrighty, first strike. We're back to you, Nick. Give me a word that rhymes with candy. Let's try tandy. Alrighty, show me tandy. Stay with this question. Nope, it's your second strike now. Yuji, final shot. Give me a word that rhymes with candy. Oh, I hope Barry Manilow says us, Mandy! If it's there, you stay alive. If not, it's your third strike. Show me, Mandy. There it is. One final shot, Robo. Give me a word that rhymes with candy. Spending family, one shot at this. Ben, we'll start with you. Give me a word that rhymes with candy. Wendy. R A N D. R A N D Y. He's saying Randy. Alright, chap. You can choose to go with his answer or go out on your own. Give me a word that rhymes with candy. Thinking the exact same thing. Alrighty, you're going to yes. If it's there, your team stays alive and we go to a final question. If not, the other team will win. Show me. Randy. There it is. Yeah. Grab the ice. Alrighty, guys. Final question coming up here. And I believe it is Nick and... Yeah. Fan on this one. So Fine, that's it for chat. Alrighty, angry grandpa fan and Ben, here we go. Me. Here we go. One fifty one to two forty. Good luck. 
Didn't bingo last time. Yeah, but you're not on team viewer though to buzz in, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Come on, Nick, you got this. Oh, that's just okay, man. Here we go, gentlemen. One hundred people survey top seven answers on the board to this, and the dollar values are tripled. This will decide it right here. False alarm, don't worry. Just tested it. I know. Don't worry. Number four. If I had just uh, even uttered a single word, then I probably would have asked for an answer, but I didn't, so. Air shot. There we go. Here we go, guys. Listen carefully, because when I get to you, you only have four seconds to answer. Name the candy that comes in different colors. Ben. For chat. Skittles. Alrighty. Show me. Skills. There it is. Now ready. Do you want to play it or pass, chap? Mm, let's play it. Alrighty. Nick, Romo, and Eugene, talk amongst yourselves here. Alrighty. Ben, four seconds to answer on this. Name a candy that comes in different colors. M&M's. Show me. M&M's. There it is. Game didn't interpret that, so don't worry. Let me see if I can add it in. Nope, I'll fix that later. Irregardless. Chat, back to you. Name a candy that comes in different colors. Starburst. Show me Starburst. There it is. Back to you, Ben. Again, name a candy that comes in different colors. Nerds. Show me Nerds. Strike one. Chat, back to you. Name a candy that comes in different colors. Mike and Ike's. Show me Mike and Ike's. That was a good guess, but unfortunately, it didn't make it. Ben, final shot for you. Name a candy that comes in different colors. Jelly Bellies. Alrighty, if Jelly Bellies is there, you're alive. If not, it's your third strike. Show me Jelly Bellies. No. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Over to the U fam. Over to the Ranger family. Excuse me again. One at a time down the line. Alrighty. Here we go. I'm gonna start with Eugene. Eugene, name a candy that comes in different colors. My favorite. My all-time favorite. Jolly Ranchers. No righty. Nick. I'm gonna go with Eugene's answer on this. Alrighty. They're both saying Jolly Ranchers, Robo. You can choose to go with that answer or go out on your own. This is for the game here. Name a candy that comes in different colors. Jolly Rancher, let's go for it. All right, Jolly guys. Ranchers are there. You have won the Ugh. game. If not, the Spindon family claims this game. Show me. Jolly Ranchers. That's not my guarantee. Good there game. Thank you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was thinking one of those uh, wa uh, color wafers ones. Alright. Smarties. Smarties. What was that? I was thinking lifesavers as well. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and see what you guys didn't know. I said name a candy that comes in different colors. Let's see what number six was. I had that one in mind. Me That's too. A little big. Number five. Now and laters. Ah. Oh my god, yeah, those. I was like, not, not making now and laters, did it? Lightsaber. Obvious. Alrighty, well done, gentlemen. Now, Robo, which of your two team members do you want to come for fast, have come for fast money? Um, I'll play second round, but no, for, the first, for the first round, I gotta go with my main man, Eugene. Alrighty. Just a moment here, okay, guys. Play it fast money for $20,000. Robo, if you would please head out of the call and we'll invite you back. Alright. Well played, gentlemen. Well played. Alrighty, Eugene, are you there? Yep. Alrighty, good luck here. 
The bonus round is going to be a little bit funny and dirty at the same time for the theme I've planned for it here. Now let me pick someone here to handle the cl uh, clock control here. I'm going to pause this so Robo can't see anything. But you can still see it on Skype, right, Eugene? Yeah. Okay. That's all that matters. Is it going to work like last time where you read the question when time starts after the fourth question? Yeah. Yes. Just to be fair here. Okay. Uh, or I may do the third question here just to uh, save time since technically I'm not having to, you know, like do TeamViewer anymore. I've got an actual working computer now. Okay. So something may change here. Alrighty. Ben, would you mind running the clock? Yes. Alright. Let me click that out the way. 